Yeah. I, I understand that. I, I know it's a rush matter, but yeah. I, I understand it's a rush. I know that. I'll have the report done as soon as I can. I'm a down here by myself, you know that. I've been backed up here all night. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I know. Look, I'm gonna have the reports back as soon as I'm finished with them. I'm gonna... people try to break out of this place. Mommy always said I was different. You think I've been in the system before? Well, have you? Let's see if we can refresh my memory. Your results on this afternoon's intelligence profile were... The best were... you've seen since good old Mikey Bridger. In fact... Your mental composite is surprisingly similar. And then, of course, there's the whole teeth thing. I bet it's not in that file of yours. But I know how little Mikey ended up. Sucking on his gums. <laughs> Growing up, I didn't have a lot of toys. And the ones I did have were a bit... Worse for the wear. So the arrival of the Tooth Fairy was a real event. A revelation, you might say. was sweet, for a while at least, but here's the problem, just like everybody else, I only got 20 baby teeth, no more teeth, no more cash, we are all, however, blessed with 32 adult teeth. must come to an end. Water? Michael Pritchard lost his teeth to gum disease. Childhood malnutrition. Says you. Let me guess. Anthony Epps. Tragic story. He escaped the institution, didn't he? Anthony and I had a lot in common. Mostly, we were interested in getting as close as we could to death. Rubbing right up against it. And letting chance decide if we were going to consummate the relationship. I 
I took the same risks. <laughs> I guess some people just have different luck. Are you saying he's dead? Or maybe he's alive. And I'm the one who's dead. You're testing my patience here. Imagine how I feel. So, Doc, who's behind door number three? Why don't you tell me? See, the truth is, it doesn't even matter. The stories are all the same. Some poor teenager goes a little screwy in the brain, gets sent here. Maybe he's a foster kid, or an orphan, or somebody his parents just would rather live without. Point is, no one no, wants to do this expense a little. Oh, okay, I'm not. Just a little prick. <laughs> Let me try that again. I hold more than a purely professional interest in this case. The truth is, I too was a victim of Dr. Hot. No. Sadly, it is in fact written all over my face. This flawless skin, these lovely teeth are the unfortunate side effect of Dr. Hot's psychopharmacological hijinks. Good pudding, except you're missing something. You're right. Let's uh, fix you up a bit. Thank you. Touch here. And a touch there. Much better. Ladies and gentlemen. It's time to make your voices heard. 
Life or death? Rich girl.